What's good everybody, it's your boy Ropes. So there was an interesting question that came up in a Facebook group that I'm in. And the question was, would you tell your homie that his girl was a hoe? If you knew for sure about it, you caught her doing something, if she hit on you, what should you do? Should you tell him? How should you handle it, right? And you know, I always think it's funny because like a bunch of niggas came through lying and shit about what they would do and how they would handle it. And I always think it's funny when somebody tries to say what they'll do when they ain't never been in the situation before. But you know, there was a whole lot of that going on. And um, I said, you know what, let me make a video about this and get your comments and see how you feel about this, how you would handle it. Now, me, my what I said was, my advice on the whole situation was to understand what type of homie you have before you make that decision. Because, of course, your natural reaction should be to tell him. That should be the first thing that comes to your mind, because that's your boy. You don't want to see him get played for a fool, right? But you have to keep in mind that there are some dudes out there who just don't want to know. They'd rather remain ignorant to the fact that their girl's a hoe. Even if they have suspicions of it, they don't want to find out for sure. And these men do exist. Okay, more than what you would think. This is not no rare situation here, okay? A lot of dudes are like this. Didn't they make a whole little bullshit song about this in the early 2000s? What was it? Uh, Puffy and Loon and shit talking about they didn't want to know if their girl was a hoe or some shit. I, I remember that. See, these dudes exist, man. They're really out there. And so uh, my advice was just find out um, where his mind is, where his emotions are when it comes to this particular woman. Because you can wind up in a situation where you break up your friendship over the whole thing. He'll end up being mad at you for ruining his little uh, fantasy world, his little bubble that he was in. You know, um, and this has happened, man. This has happened several times. It may have happened to some of you, you know. But um, I want to tell y'all about a situation that I was in and how I handled the shit. Now, when I was about 13 or 14 years old, I used to live with my big homie. All right, I used to live with him, his girl. They were in their 30s. And then I had a little homie that was with me that was one year younger than me. Almost a year and a half younger than I was. So we all lived together. And my homie is like the perfect example of a rolling stone. Okay, He had girls all over town. And he would spread himself out with all of them. Okay, and I'm not talking about going and hitting it and then leaving and coming home. I'm talking about he would lay up with each of them for days, weeks, months at a time if he felt like it. So he was never at our house. He was never there. You know, there was times where he was gone for up to two months. All right. And all he would do is just call. He'll still meet up with his girl, but she'd have to drive out to wherever he was out in L.A. because he had a house out there that his mom's left him when. She passed away. So he still communicated and had us drive out to meet him somewhere in L.A. or something like that. But he wouldn't come to the house for months, weeks, you know, at a time. So, um, of course, you can imagine all the time that she had to do whatever she wanted to do. And uh, me and my little homie noticed that there was some guy calling the house. And he referred to himself and says, I'm not making this up. He said his name was C Smooth. She referred to him as C Smooth. That's what he said his name was. Okay. So he calls the house. And, uh, you know, the first few times that he called, I didn't really think too much of it. I thought maybe he could be a relative or, or something like that. I know he just ain't calling the house like that, all bold like that. I'm sure she's not allowing him to do that. So I didn't think nothing of it at first. But then after a while, you know, it, you know, I just started to sniff around it a little bit more and um, come to find out, you know, I pressed her on it. Come to find out, you know, this is some side guy that she's messing with. And she's telling me about how she's tired of the homie. He's never there and all this type of shit. And I listened to her and I pretended like I cared. But in my mind, the whole time she was talking, I was just thinking, you dog ass fucking hoe. You know, what I'm, saying? I'm really thinking this the whole time she's talking. I'm really not trying to hear what she has to say because 
And, you know, I look at it like this. He's my big homie, and all she is to me is this girl. That's it. Man, she gets respect from me just based off of that and that alone. You know what I'm saying? This is not my home girl or anything like that. I don't have nothing to do with her like that. We just all live together. And plus, you know, I had respect for her because, like I say, I was only 13, 14 years old at the time. And um, she was in her 30s already, mid 30. I think she was like 32, 33 years old. So I also respected her, you know, as an elder as well. But um, I was still upset about it. You know what I'm saying? And what really made me upset was that she felt like she didn't even need to like tell this dude to pretend to be somebody else when he called the house. Like, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to know about the shit. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. I thought about it because initially I wanted to tell the homie what was going on. But you see, my homie was the type of dude like the one that I described earlier. OK, I felt like he would end up taking it out on me, be upset with me about it. He'll take it out on everybody in the damn house. And. Um, the thing was, with this particular girl, even though he was not there at the house that often, he considered her to be his main squeeze. That was his girl, the main one. He expressed that to us so many times. And I've seen him shed tears over this girl. A gangster, tattoos on his face and everything. Teardrops, the whole nine, okay? Big bully, biggest bully that I've ever met in my damn life. Had to fight every day, and he wasn't looking to fight nobody uh, that was smaller than him or somebody he can easily bully. He wanted to knock out grown-ass men every single day. Still in his 30s, all right? And I've seen him wrapped up in a blanket on the couch, all fucked up over this girl. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I took all of that into account and I was thinking, you know, this could actually end up backfiring on me if I say anything. So I'm just going to let a hoe be a hoe and eventually she's going to be caught because these bitches can't get away with the shit forever. They're eventually going to get caught. So that's what I decided to do, even though, you know, it ate me up. You know what I'm saying? Every time C Smooth will call the damn house. So, but one day, I reached my breaking point with the whole situation because C Smooth decided to call the house and talk to me like I wasn't shit. Like I was just some punk ass little kid, snotty nosed little brat that needed to hurry up and put her on the phone. Like this is how he was talking to me, you know. And so one of three things happened, OK? Either A, I just hung up the phone in his face. B, I said, yes, sir, and put her on the phone. Or C, I let him know that he was at my motherfucking mercy. Which one of them options do you think I decided to go with? Obviously, option C. You know, and I told him that uh, when you call this motherfucking house, you need to be pretending like you're the insurance man or, or, or something. Else. I don't want to hear no fucking C smooth. I don't give a fuck about a C smooth. You know what I'm saying? And, and this is me. A little kid talking to a grown ass man because I knew all I got to do is tell my homie about this and he's finished. He is finished. He's done. OK, he will be found. OK, because the homie's going to press her. He's going to get dude's address and it's going to be all over, man. She's going to give up all the whole information once it all come out. And I know that my homie could get it out of her. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I let him know, like, look, man. Uh, you don't need to be disrespectful, man. You call him my homie's house, you know, because he knew he knew that because uh, she told me that uh, she told him about the homie. So he knew where he was calling because he knew who to hang up on if my homie was to pick the phone up, because there was times where we're sitting there, we're chilling, you know, throwing blunts around, watching a movie or some shit on the big screen. And the phone will ring. My homie will pick it up and the motherfucker will hang up. That's happened several times. So I know that that was him doing that shit. So he knows the whole situation, but he's going to call here. He's got to know that we're his little homies and he's going to call here and not even try to hide the shit and expect me to just deal with this. You know what I'm saying? So finally, she comes out the room because she hears me going on. She knows that the um, the call ain't for me because I didn't get calls there. So, um, you know, I gave her the phone or whatever. She went off into the room and then she ends up trying to go off on me for going off on him. For disrespecting me, you know what I'm saying? And I just told her straight up, you know, like, um, I don't appreciate the fact that you, you're not even concerned with how me and my little homie feel about this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want me to be a part of this. I don't want to be a part of it. You need to take that shit off somewhere 
where I can't see it. You know, have some respect. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I told her how I felt about that. And, uh, you know, she kind of understood where I was coming from. Well, anyway, what ended up happening was um, one day, you know, they got into some argument and she left and she was gone for two fucking months. OK, she was never gone at long. When they get into arguments and she leaves, she usually come back within a day or two, maybe a week tops. OK, this time this bitch was gone for two months. OK, my homie is fucked up all over again. You know what I'm saying? On the couch, wrapped up in a blanket, you know what I mean? Not wanting to do shit. All depressed over her. When he went to L.A., he was calling us every single fucking day, asking, have we heard anything from her? And uh, this this all went on for two months. Finally, one day, we get a call from her, and she asks if the homie's there. I say no. She, she immediately hangs up on me, you know, while I'm still talking. She pulls up in the driveway. She comes in. I'm thinking she's back or something. And she goes into the room and starts throwing all her shit into the car, all her clothes and shit going on, just emptying everything. So me, I'm not about to go along with this. I call the homie immediately while I see her doing all of this, because uh, eventually I mean, he's going to find out and he's going to wonder, you know, how come I didn't tell him that she came and emptied out everything? So I'm not letting a minute go by. I'm letting this nigga know right now what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? So I called him, told him what was going on. Tried to give her the phone. She didn't want it. She peeled off. Last I heard, she was pregnant. Um, never found out who the baby's daddy was. Didn't care to investigate it. Never saw her again since that day. And we all were kind of splitting up at this time anyway, because um, by this time, I'm already getting older. So I'm already trying to branch off and do my own thing. And, um, you, you know, I don't want him to start thinking something about, you know, me and his girl. and shit. I don't want to live there no more. For that reason, because I'm getting older now. I'm becoming a man now. You know what I'm saying? And uh, before I was just some kid. You know, she wasn't going to fuck no little kid. He wasn't worried about that. But when I started to get a little bit older, you know, I say, I'm going to get out of this little situation because I don't even want him to think nothing. So we was already kind of splitting up at that time. So I know that my other homie, you know, he had another daughter, but it wasn't from her. You know, so the baby must not have been his. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Never cared to investigate it or nothing like that. So. See, I had the type of homie that was going to go off on me if I told him. And I saw how fucked up he got over her. So I decided not to uh, not to say nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Because he would have gotten mad at me for that. I know him. I just know him too well. You know, he was a bully. You know what I'm saying? He done socked out all the little homies and all that type of shit. I mean, that's the type of shit that he was on. You know what I'm saying? At that time. So uh, I still know him to this day. You know, he's a lot changed now. He's a lot older now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, back then, you know, he was just reckless. So uh, my advice was, listen, just know who your homie is. Because me, I'm going to appreciate it. I'm going to be like, hey, good looking. It's time to have some motherfucking fun. You know, because I'm a Scorpio, so I can be evil motherfucker. I look at that as if my homie's telling me that, that gives me, you know, a hand that I can play on her. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to go and confront her right away. We're going to have some fun with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just that devious. But I'm going to appreciate that. I ain't going to take it out on the homie. You know, that's that's a one up. You know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned. But um, some dudes ain't like that, man. You know, they'll get mad at you for um, exposing them to the truth that they didn't want to know. So anyway, you know, that's my video. That's how I would handle it. Know who you're dealing with. Know who your homie is. Because you don't want to fuck up your relationship with your boy, man. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you don't want to see him get played like a fool either. So maybe you can even point him in that direction without even really telling him. Let him sniff it out on his own. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm out. Deuce.